Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you serious? No, you're shooting. The writer just took out my deputies. A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told it's a that line was between thriller and horror. But that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Who was that hand? Alan. Shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. Your face is looking there better. You go, Alan. Hartman. I felt Whoa, I why'd you just call me baby? Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient. You're life. already in episode four. For That's far enough. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're, Whoa, you lied. You're suffering really? from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just, Just let, let go. Go, 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 go. So, was it in his head, or...? Why would he can't be in the institute? Why would they let him sleep in his clothes? Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else, someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think, couldn't focus. Move this oh, chair. I'm not doing any writing. No manuscript pages. Oh, the pages are gone. Then again, they wouldn't be the real if he wasn't here. I was a prisoner here. No, you're a patient, Mr. Wake. Oh, it's time to break out through the window, then. Take that Alice now, are plunge. Are we feeling better now? Feeling Who are you looking calm? at? Yeah, I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. I can take him. Right, that's the spirit? You're being very <clears throat> brave, Alan. <clears throat> I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of Still a bit under the weather, so you're going to hear some boring. throat Big clearing. Video. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. You're the doctor. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable. Why don't you take me? Creativity is a part of the I love fishing. Here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Maybe I'll catch I my wife. In treating artists. I bet you I'll do. bait her with some horrible Splendid, stories. Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Do you now? This way, Alan. Please, call me Al. Push it! Leave him! Wait, now, the goon didn't come with you? I didn't, why don't you just you beat the crap out of him now? Right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state. Until Wait, did I just hear some, like, darkness in his voice? Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking. I don't, I don't believe you. You betray me. A feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Interesting. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your no, I killed several. Just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. 
Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane? Just open up, Alan, and let me in you. In your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Okay. Oh. Why do you have a sundial? Compass? What? What is this? Doc. Doc, what is this? Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle of oh, ugh, poetry. I'm a writer, not a poet. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? It's a lot of fog. Spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. And fall. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being. Are a you sure you're on the right side? Forecast. Well, dark matter. night rises. This way, follow me. Yes, sir. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. And Not then you'd have to make a sequel to your album. Fashion. Your the most successful is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying, or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? Pull him down the stairs now, Alan. You to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Do it now. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. World, his words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Stab him in the neck with his own keys. Come along. Let's go inside. Give him a slap to the ball spot. Oh, wait. The guard's here. Never mind. Now here's the entrance All to is the well. wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The do you now? Doors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Hey, a thermos. Wonderful, yeah. Thanks for the tour. I'm out of here, sucker. Yeah, ha. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> Let me slap him, Doc. I'll get him under control. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Yeah, you can. Once you okay. realize okay. it's a dream, sorry, you can sorry, pretty sorry. much control any yeah. aspect of it. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of <sighs> course, but it does involve some ah, A subtle jab to your own grade of whatever, dude. Stop with the meta garbage and get okay. on with it. Okay. She's Come a little too old for way. me. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. There were are any of the pages I've written. Continue. Well, then, uh, we're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule a visit beforehand to ensure that they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patient's need for pirate piracy privacy and personal space <clears throat> especially when they're engaged by their creative process be patient typically our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight give yourself permission to take the time you need bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specially tailored to you engagement therapy tm and its sister method the flow tm editors Work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. I have some concerns. Concerns right My here. Is killing me. There's a storm coming. 
Oh, what a storm. Oh, are these all the same two guys from the bar? Off the face of the earth. And these two are Where's the jukebox? The Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. Oh, that's not they bad. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. So he used to hit things with hammers. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. Can't It'll you get one of your guys to check on it? Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. Really is for the best. Oh, he's got the mark back on his head from when he uh, crashed the car. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us. What happened to your eye and your teeth? Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else? could understand the world when it's like this it takes crazy to know crazy holy so crap your neck it's one. creeping me out old man <laughs> he just hit me you're all right tom where's the like people we whoa tom go to the, farm. the anderson farm valhalla of course we wrote it all down lest we forget a crash course all you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Message in a bottle. Me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. So this was up your butt? Ugh. I don't want this. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, went away with words. And by way with words, I mean a knife. My head was clearing up. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. As he bangs oh, himself with a hammer. Here. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we guys. have a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed. Leather patches on the elbows? That's not very rock and roll. Yeah, it is. I'm just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us oh, all. Oh, that woman. Taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens. What was... What were they? Memory and thought. The hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Oh, okay. We're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. So this woman takes things from creator, artists? An artist, a god. Night may shift it in their sleep in the darkness And this place, the if you're an artist, it <laughs> renders yeah, these things, it the gives one. them shape or something? She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other writer. <laughs> She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, Okay. So tired. So this actually makes a little sense now. This place for artists, it brings their creations to life, I guess, in a way. And she twists it for I don't I don't know what purpose though. 
I guess they'll tell us later. But I literally don't know why she would want to be acting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you Birch! jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Dude, I'll Wake, take you right now. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those. How about I humor Wake. myself with my fist across your face? Why don't you follow me so I push you down these stairs? Oh wait, no, I, th I think I saw a page down there. Can I access it? Uh, doesn't look like it. Uh, here we go with the tired stuff. We had parties there, man. You Maybe I was mistaken about the page. Have a party. Uh, I guess so. Okay. I think it was over here. Nope, whatever. No, I'm not reading that douchebag's anything. Screw him. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Where's that coming from? Have been for days, but it's always dark. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants. And the story will come true. Okay, what is the story it wants, though? To enslave the townspeople? Yep. Only reason I came over here. And there's a generator over there, so I'm probably gonna have to fight some Taken soon. Emerson. Oh, I can go into this place? Even though it's not my room? Cool. Knock down everything. Oh, the Night Springs video game with a 360. Come on now. Come on now. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Is this really how writer's block is? Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Yeah, I'm cool at the other side of the pillow, dude. Get up, bash him across the head. What the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Yep, let's do it then. Prison break! Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Of course there wasn't. Just run, Wake. Run to freedom. You're almost there. Don't get tired out. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Okay, where's his office? Uh... Not here. <coughs> okay, patient rooms. Oh, here we go. Uh, can I open up that generator before I do anything? Nope, I need a specific key for that, okay. Wow, is Birch really hiding from two old men? Not quite the muscle you had in mind, huh, Hartman? Let her out of here. What am I the examining? The wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Oh, okay, so Hartman's in on it too, and he wanted Alan to write some pages. <clears throat> Barry? 
Oh, Barry. Time. Barry. Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Who are you yeah. looking at? I mean, no. The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that vet gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. Of course What's, they did. What's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah. What are you doing with your hand? punishment. Come on, pal. We gotta get going. Okay, it said I could examine something else, so what's in this the room? markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Let's now, Mrs. Here. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's, he's so angry all the time. Yes, he has. Mod could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake That's to not how you spell time. bear, is he it? Out two Isn't it B-A-R-E? show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Maybe it is. I don't know. Silent, he's... Do you mean with you? Holy crap, this sounds a lot like Lori. He just, Ellen doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing at all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes, tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who... No, it's me. Something about a rose, I don't know. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him. And we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here. And I'm afraid of the dark. <sighs> help me, doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor. Be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. What? Alright there. What what do you do? Okay, never mind, Barry. Let's just go. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. More? Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Now why are you aiming at my oh, chest? Well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake. Come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. I don't know, Alan. There's Al, dark things go. out there. They didn't go away. To me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. We could have beautiful children. Wait, please. Wow, really? You practically killed him, Alan. I hope you know that.
You murdered that guy and smiled about it. Rose was not Rose. Holy crap! Alice was, Alice was right in getting you help with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. So they saved him, okay. The dark presence was on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Through the front door. Oh, I guess not. But wait, I still have a key. Okay, what's going on? Oh, it's creepy. Oh, that's not good. I have no flashlight. Holy crap. Ugh, that hurts. To get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Okay, I need a light. There's a light up here. Okay, now it's gray for some reason. Oh, come on now. Let's get this right. Yep, just keep floating in a circle, killing yourselves. Dumb darkness possessed books. Okay, are we done here? Can I go now? Thank you. Oh, nope, they ain't still trying to kill me. Wonderful. So what do I do here? Do I just keep lighting this thing over and over? Okay, I guess so. Why does the generator keep conking out though? And I can't move it, so they have to come in my area. Quite everything. Yep, there it goes again. All right. Generators don't just go out like this, though. Yep. All right. Do I have to run down there and like um, force them to come towards the light? Try that. Oops. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, that worked for all of two seconds. How am I supposed to get these things out of that doorway? Maybe there's another light around here? Doesn't hurt to look. There's nothing across the ways. Shut up, Alan. Uh, something down here? There's gotta be. Move that light at all? Stop hitting me for a second so I can kill you guys. Alright, let's see if I can move this light. It doesn't look like it. And this light is knocked down, so can't use that one. What am I supposed to do here?
TV, tell me the answers. You always have something good to say. Okay, is there anything that's nothing? What am I supposed to do? Do these, do these lights have anything to do with anything? I would assume not. Oh, maybe I do this and then run over there and they'll run towards, they'll try to hit me over there near the light. Okay, it looks like that somewhat worked maybe? Honestly, don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, escape the. Let's let's see where this goes. Let's escape the clinic thing. Ow. Oh, I was just supposed to go this way. So I wasted all that time for nothing. Oh, flare, beautiful. Whoa! Okay, those are just upside down for some reason. I guess I like the flare here. That doesn't look like there's anything else to do. Yep. Good thing they put it right there for me to kill them. Another page. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Okay. So as long as he wasn't an artist, he wouldn't turn crazies. What's this? Are these nice brains again? Who can, no, I don't care. Ow! Dude! Oh, crap. Okay, so he can't come in here, so... Where do I go? Oh wait, no, he can't! Alright, I needed to come in here so I can run past it. Come on now! Right here, get your prize. Uh, escape the clinic. Of course. Uh, what do I do? It says escape the clinic right there. Holy crap! Oh, maybe it's supposed to knock into the door? Well, that didn't seem to work in the slightest. What am I supposed to do here? Come on, right to the door. Oh, that does work. Okay. I'm here, Barry. <laughs> Help me. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Of course I Barry, am. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. It's dangerous oh, to go along. Take this. Whoa. Holy crap. Straight out of pulse here. Please stop hitting me with darkness objects. Please. It's my one request. Still more. Hopefully I find some more batteries. Oh, then I will make it through in 20 seconds, because you're an idiot. Uh, yeah, let's 
Let's burst through this gate and then look around a little bit. See if there's some batteries or something. Then again, knowing Barry, he picked up everything and just forgot to give it to me. Oh, a thermos. This makes this exploration already a good thing. Why did I press that like it was a page? Can I get back in the house? Nope. And there's nothing else here. That giant ball thing. What? Why is darkness blocking that ball from coming out? Like, whatever, dude. Six bullets, two batteries. Some flares, some batteries. Okay. Just need bullets now. What do you mean the house looks bad? It, it doesn't look any worse than what it did before. Okay, here's the maze. Uh, yep. It looks very mazy to me. I'm in total amazement. I'll stop now. How do you hear that? And why aren't they coming for you? Oh, I just picked up some bullets. All right. That makes this better. Yep. Always look behind you in horror games. Uh, nothing up here. Well, I just killed two, Barry. Thanks. Don't trust Emil. Who's Emil? Was that Hartman? Well, that's advice I don't need anymore. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-size stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. A dragon? It's actually kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Okay, so I'm going to their farm. More bullets, more batteries. Move! Okay, I hear you guys. Where are you? There's nothing behind me. Try to keep your back to a wall. Yep. Oh, that was easy. Yep, back still to a wall. Is that a shadow or? Guess not. Ain't nothing over here. Whoa! Douchebags! Are oh, you gonna step in front of him? like leaving wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy but this was not an ordinary storm wake had been riding and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake now it was coming for him hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this the idiot brothers would keep wake distracted while hartman double checked everything just to be sure and then the brothers turn on hartman and beat up his the woman and his guard ran like a little baby. Man. Okay, that sounds like actual people. Like those fast demon ones. <clears throat> uh, 
All right. Wow, he sounded like Bill Cosby. <laughs> Get the bills in the morning. Oh, it's Hartman. And birds, this is nonsense. There's nobody protecting you. Hey, a thermos. Another flare. Oh, and a flare gun. All right. I guess that was it for the birds. Whoa! Did not see you. Yeah, stop that. Come on up, little. Oh, big man. That's how we put them down. Doesn't look like anything around here. No more yellow paint. No ammo or pages. This, this doesn't look good. They wouldn't give me a checkpoint here for no reason. Well, yep. Excuse me? Ah, don't excuse me then. Be ill-mannered, douche. All right, back to the wall. Still a wall here? Yep. Oh, beautiful. That helps. That helps, I mean, it's aggravating. Right. Still, back to the wall. What? There's something else? Oh, the actual gate. Doesn't look like there's anybody else coming. Alright, this sequence wasn't that bad. Plus, I got a flare. More pages, more ammo. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. But okay, he's attacked by a taken. Is he killed? I hope Barry doesn't die. He seems like a good enough guy. Is that a pool of water or darkness? It's hard to tell at night. Well, just saw something. Nobody behind me. Oh, never mind. Why would I shoot at him? Same out. Okay, there's actually nothing over here except that guy. Emil made Tom do it. So Tom actually fell for his bull crap. Oh wait, is that more yellow? Okay, so there should be an arrow around here somewhere. There we go. 
to the right, it looks like. Uh, wait. Yep, there we go. Ah, more flare gun and stuff. Okay. No, I have yet to use the flare gun as far as I know. Even though I've had it several times. Okay, I found out where the fake go. Now to find out where to actually go. Ah, oh, this looks like it. Do a light jog so you can catch his stupid breath. Alright. Shoddy. Some ammo for everything. Coffee thermos. I'm all set. Because this is surely a big fight if I see Barry over there. Okay, so what's over here? Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan. Hartman whispered. He buckled his nose. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose. He took out his so blood and barely tasted it. He whipped Alan mercilessly that night. I wish light would freaking make him uh his breath regenerate too. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh well I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up. And the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry! I'll find it! Don't worry oh, about no. it! You're, you've killed me, Barry! Hurry up, Barry! Whoa, you still got over here. Douche. Oh, you too! I'm hanging. Boy, that works. That's wonderful, Barry. How about saving my life? Oh yeah, that's wonderful. You're giving me false hope here, Barry. I could die at any second now. <clears throat> I look like this is the last guy. And I killed all the guys. You were no help, Barry. None help. For the nearest, you're now without Alice. Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a good. You can and use it, you pasty white bastard. Get me to the Anderson farm. Holy crap, being sick sucks. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. As sure as your How lips you barely that? move. No, Barry, I can. Al. I know. Listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. 
But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on How does he look man. Asian and not Asian, Asian at the same time? They too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm barrier. We just need to find it. Look out! Dude, that rock was barely there. You could have avoided that. Yeah, Barry probably needs to die. Ow! God damn it, I'll talk to me. Oh, now his leg hurts. He's gonna be even worse while running. 